Good morning from the city of Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. The local time 7.02, 7.02. Yes, this is morning, earlier morning, uh, 12th of August 2021. My name is Sergey Baklikov. I continue the live streams on my YouTube channel, which is called Baklikov Live. Well, here is a pretty simple and logic name of uh, my channel because I am Baklikov and uh, this is my live stream. So, Baklikov Live. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. William Beale, Star, Dre Lewis, Welling Sausage, Bigity Matt, Jeff, the Theory Man 1, Brianna B, Green Man, Aigul S, Scott Wheeler, and to everybody, all the guys, Tribulation, Sharon Stone, Michael Ironsides, Ronnie Cox, Bola Young, Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, Michael Dudikov, Dolph Lundgren, Tonya Hodes, Jack Nicholson, Bruce Willis, John Travolta, Uma Thurman, William Kennedy. Uh, glad to see you all. Okay, look, dudes, dudes, this is one of your favorite segments. I'm saying this just uh, based on the statistics that I can see on YouTube. You know, in YouTube, there is such a section. It's called Analytics, YouTube Analytics. And there we can see it. It's all about food. You love food. You love breakfast. You love dinners. Well, now it's a morning, so... It's um, breakfast. Now we're going for a breakfast, another breakfast in Ufa. Well, recently I was making the breakfast uh, live from the place called Godri, then also the place called Budilnik. Budilnik, it's Russian for alarm clock. Yes, the guys called the coffee as just uh, alarm clock, Budilnik. And now we're going to Kumpen, 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 Kumpen Cafe. Uh, Mikhail Kumpen, uh, he is uh, the real fan of coffee. So there's uh, traditionally amazing coffee and there's also the breakfast. Look, 7.05 here now and uh, the opening in uh, 25 minutes. And actually we are going to Kumpen Cafe where they have probably the earliest uh, breakfast so far. Also, here is the place where you can buy a uh, blue, uh, blue meth. Look, here you can buy blue meth from Heisenberg. But it's too early now. But normally you can buy a blue meth here, okay? So I'm walking through the, uh, by the way, alley. This is uh, the alley of uh, contemporary art sculptures. <coughs> the chemistry, yes, respect the chemistry. Katie Mix, Patrick De Boer. What is blue milk? Not milk, but meth. <laughs> yes, here is a meth with a very high quality because it's from Heisenberg and Heisenberg, uh, he respects the chemistry, okay? Okay, so I'm walking through the contemporary arts, the alley of arts. Yeah, how to understand this is contemporary arts. If you're not sure what it is, so it's uh, most probably contemporary art, okay? <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, Crystal. Jay Lewis, hello again. Hello, friend. This is uh, the Bashkir State Medical University. Uh, that's where the guys uh, study the medicine. And, uh, you know, here study not only Russians, but many foreigners. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's really curious how... Uh, when I'm walking through the historical city center, you saw before yourself, you saw yourself uh, before that uh, I'm uh, pretty much getting recognized not by the locals, 
but by the foreign students. Uh, here is a lot of students from India, Saudi Arabia, and uh, some other countries. And, uh, you know, um, the thing is, when they finding out that, hey, we go to Ufa, Russia, Ufa, where it is, let's check it out. And uh, uh, on YouTube, when you're uh, searching for Ufa, Russia, there is like a lot of my videos because I am the biggest producer of the contents about Ufa in English language, okay? So that's how they knows me, but uh, the locals, the locals, they do not watch my videos because they are never finding them, okay? So, uh, well, I, I mean, probably people in Ufa not that often um, like uh, search for Ufa, okay, in a search engine. It's like how many times you search for your location being in your location? <clears throat> Sergey, when you will be back in St. Petersburg? Um, I don't know. I think this is like the last week here in uh, Ufa, and then I will get back. I will get back. Yeah, because at the 1st of September there starts um, the new educational year, the new school year. Uh, well, uh, one of the reasons why we need to get back in the nearest time, like at least because of my daughter, Victoria, well, she needs to take like at least maybe two weeks, like at home to take a rest from Ufa, you know, to get ready for the new school year. Also, um, a lot of her, uh, how to say, uh, classmates already got back from their summer places all the time, calling her to go somewhere. She's missing them, okay? <clears throat> okay, I'm in the corner of Lenin Street and, uh, well, this is Lenin Street. By the way, I started right from the very beginning of Lenin Street, Lenin House 2. Uh, walked along the uh, medical, Bashkir State Medical University through the Contemporary Arts Sculptures Alley and got to the corner of Lenin and Pushkin. Here is the Bashkir State Opera, Opera and Ballet Theater. Meanwhile, the time is 7.10. There is the Soviet Square. I used to show you some time ago that now they are already launched the uh, fountains there, which is great. I already told you before that the electric scooters now everywhere, not only in St. Petersburg, not only in Moscow, but in Ufa too. Yeah, it turned to be a good, it turned to be a good um, business, you know? By the way, here in Ufa, the temperature now about like plus 27, plus 30 degrees Celsius during the day, but August in Russia known as like kind of cheaty, uh, kind of cheaty month because, well, even those, even those um, by day, it's uh, still kind of hot. It's kind of hot. However, the nights are already pretty cold, pretty cold. <clears throat> and uh, let's say plus 27, plus 30 in August is not the same as uh, plus 27 plus 30 in july and in terms of like swimming going to the rivers it's not the same it's cheaty and uh yeah many people are actually getting sick like catching the cold because they are thinking oh it's plus 27 it's plus 30 but they go to the river so they go to the river but uh during the the, the cold nights already kind of colder nights and uh, the water is not as warm as it may seem, okay? <clears throat> so it's, um, need to be careful. It's a um, cheatful time. <clears throat> so, 
so what we have here we have next to Bashkir State's Opera and Ballet Theater can I just walk here yes I can I think <laughs> it's seven o'clock nobody yes okay um here is the famous fountain it's called seven girls seven Bashkir girls if you remember my video if you remember my video um not that long ago when I went to Orenburg, I told you that uh, the Republic of Bashkortostan is really close to um, Orenburg, Orenburg region. And Orenburg region is um, next to Kazakhstan. So uh, the seven girls, that's from the legend about seven girls who got uh, captured, who got captured uh, by the Kazakh warriors and then they run away they almost got them but they decided that they will never get captured again and they preferred better to drown in a lake okay than uh, to get into the hands of uh, those bad guys so uh, now fountain now fountain is not working it's too early but in the evening if you remember it's a really beautiful fountain with the music with the lights And this is Gastine Dvor, the guest yards, built in the end of 19th century. This is an old school mall. This is a pre revolutionary kind of malls. <clears throat> and this is still mall. This is still the mall. Hello everybody who keep joining this morning live stream. We're going for a breakfast. The sand goes higher and higher. Nice lighting. Nice lighting, nice weather, a little coolish, like really cool, but warm. Amazing lighting, cloudless sky. Hello, Marta Sevier. Anonymous COVID, Big Eater Map, Matt. <clears throat> this is uh, the square of Lenin or Lenin Square. With the monument to Lenin. The monument. Lenin, he's sitting there.
This is Lenin. Les White, good morning. Are you close to my cop? No, are you kidding me? This is the Republic of Bashkortostan. The corner of uh, Lenin streets and communistic streets. Well, it's not a long to walk yet. Uh, the time is 7.19. The opening at 7.30. We go to Kumpan Coffee for a breakfast. And I think we're going to be there right in time. We're going to be the first customers. Okay, we're going to be the first customers. The Motherlands Movie Theater, 1953, 1953, Stalinist Neoclassical Movie Theater. The city is waking up little by little. More and more cars and people in the streets. the corner of Lenin, Lenin Street and Chernyshevsky, Chernyshevsky, the philosopher. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds, we need to wait for our green light.
Let's go. Twenty four seven drug store, by the way. Drug store where you can buy the drugs. Medicines. Now I'm walking next to the state concert hall called Bashkorzestan. Look at this artwork on the wall of the residential building. It is dedicated to Bashkir and Russian warriors. Another artwork on the wall of another residential building there. State Concert Hall, Bashkortostan. This is a significant place for us. I was taking you here already several times because this is the place to perform for the National Symphony Orchestra of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. <clears throat> and I'm sure we will come in here yet many times. The hotel, Bashkiria. Bashkiria, it's a simple form of Bashkortostan. Bashkortostan, it's like official, you know, official form Bashkortostan. But Bashkiria, it's simple. <clears throat> Automobilist, Sverdlovsk region. Hmm. So, the hockey club automobilist came here, now staying in this hotel. It seems like they came for an exhibition games. Okay, the Kumpan Coffee is there in this residential building on the first floor. Let's go. 727. It's a uh, perfect timing. I'm coming with a perfect timing. Right exactly when they will open the doors now.
William Bill, I asked about Smyko because their famous hometown hockey player helped us win our second Stanley Cup in a row, Nikita Kucherov. So you're talking about Kucherov from Mykop, but you're not talking about Andrei Vasilevsky from Ufa. Andrei Vasilevsky raised in the city of Ufa and uh, uh, raised as the goalkeeper in a hockey school of hockey club Salavat Yulaev, okay? So uh, he completely raised by the hockey school of hockey club Salavat Yulaev Ufa. So you're talking about Kucherov and not a single word about Andrei Vasilevsky. Damn it! Vasilevsky only for two years he played here in Ufa and then got drafted to NHL. Damn it! Damn it! Talking about Kucherov and not about Vasilevsky from Ufa. Okay, Kumpan. Coffee and wine bar. You see, we came right in time. Let's get in. We, I need breakfast. I need to put something in my stomach. Seven thirty. Okay. Okay, dudes, I've got I've got the breakfast menu and uh our shim is the same. At first, I'm showing you the menu, then I'm making an order, then while waiting, I go to uh, wash my freaking hands, then I'm eating and you're watching. Okay, let's see what Kumpan Cafe have for us. I see what. So my, my first customer, the water, okay. Okay, look, Kumpan, breakfast. It's a bilingual menu, one menu which is available as in Russian, as in English. Mamin завтрак, mother's breakfast. Kasha dnia plus sirniki, okay, cereals of the day plus cheese pancakes cakes or casserole plus filter coffee. Cheese pancakes plus filter coffee. Look, here is the uh, uh, time, an average time of cooking. Casserole plus filter coffee. 
traditionally in Russia, as in most cases, uh, you can see the menu full of pictures where you can see exactly what you're gonna get. Cheese casserole with apricot sauce, cheese pancakes. Also, there goes uh, for uh, pancakes, uh, cheese pancakes, there goes sour cream, sour milk, raspberry sauce, apricot sauce, Nutella. Cereals of the day, rice or oatmeal with caramel sauce and fresh berries and granola with fresh berries. Spilled porridge with coconut milk, granola and berries. Banana casserole with cottage cheese and caramel sauce. Cheesecake. This is Mediterranean breakfast, salmon, eggs benedict, guacamole, um, adigi cheese, salad mix and bread. This is a traditional English breakfast, two fried eggs, Vienna sausage, fried bacon and beans in tomato sauce. Shakshuka, two eggs, red shakshuka with bell pepper, onion, and herbs in spicy tomato sauce. Two eggs, green shakshuka with mozzarella, broccoli, leek, peanuts, petals, and creamy sauce. Look, this is just omelets. Two scrambled or fried eggs. Also, toppings vegetables, mushrooms, ham, cheese, bacon, salmon. Hash browns with salmon, poached egg and sour cream. Pocky. Pocky with salmon, pocky with tuna. Grilled avocado toast with cold smoked trout yet mini spinach and seed mix croissant with salmon poached egg tomatoes and cream sauce croissant with ham poached egg tomatoes and uh, caesar sauce and um, so that's it that's what about breakfast and of course coffee because kumpan it's a great coffee. It's a great coffee. You know, all kinds of coffee. Coffee, special coffee, matcha. But for tea lovers, even tea, you know. Now I need to decide what I'm gonna eat. You hear me? You hear me, dudes? That's what I need to decide. Look, I think that I'm gonna get uh, red shakshuka, two eggs, two eggs, red shakshuta, shakshuka with bell pepper, onion and herbs and spicy tomato sauce. I remember I, had, I ate something like this in an Israeli bistro in St. Petersburg. So this looks interesting. Banana casserole with cottage cheese and caramel sauce. So what do you think about shakshuka du dudes? Shakshuka.
Hier ist Shakshuka, äh, Banana Casserole. Und äh, Latte. Latte. Mhm. Ja. Я готов, я готов сделать заявку. Красная шакшука, банановая запеканка, вот, и кофе латте. Латте можно сразу, потом вас... сейчас не нужно заезжать, кто будет в машине через 10-15 минут. А, окей, окей. Так, а вот это пока у вас только сейчас вот это меню, да? Да, на 15. Ясно. Там пока нет таких русских, так нету, да, еще? Нет. Понял, понял. Ладно, спасибо. Так, у вас красная шакшука, банановая запеканка и латте. Да. Хорошо, латте без ничего? Ну да. А что, с чем еще есть? Ну, сироп, корица. А, нет. Я Хорошо. люблю чистейшее латте. Вы меня оставите? Да, пусть пока будет. Sunshine girl, I love шакшука. Hi, Sergey, I approve. Thank you. Thank you, sunshine girl. So, if you approve... I'm getting it. Shakshuk is something new for me. I look forward to see how it turns out. Okay, you will see, Jay. Enjoy the decline. Good morning, Sergey. I never catch you this early. I'm about to sleep now. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, look, the thing is, I'm already in, um, I'm already, I'm now in Ufa. And this is already August, like the middle of August. And uh, what about Ufa, you know, Ufa? Uh, the sunsets in Ufa now turn to be like really early, okay? So in Ufa now it seems like mm, it's like some better make making the uh, live streams in a morning time. Tribulation, enjoy your breakfast and latte. Okay, thank you dudes, thank you. Thank you for a nice super chat. It great, it's great guys that you are not forgetting about super chats. Because here, let me remind you that on this channel I'm not making any advertisements, no any product placements. I never like offering you something to buy or, or something, any companies. Here we're just making a pure content and that's it. Pure content we all enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna wash my freaking hands. Son of man. Hi, hi dude, hi dude. Okay, meanwhile, uh, watch in a window. I will get back in like one minute. I just need to watch to wash my freaking hands Yes, I I'm gonna get back fast because look I'm only gonna wash hands. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna I mean like When I say now now in this case when I say I want to wash my freaking hands I literally means that I only want to wash my freaking hands uh, The thing is sometimes sometimes when people say that they go to wash their hands uh, actually uh, in real it also mean that they are not only gonna wash their hands but they also gonna uh, for example piece you know piece into the toilet and uh, then to wash their hands but in my case in my case I'm not gonna piece because I don't want to piece you know uh, and I don't want to dump a shit uh, I only want I really like only want to uh, wash my hands uh, I, I only want to have my hands clean, okay? So now I, I, I really will get back fast because all I will do is just uh, wash the hands. I'm not gonna piece, I'm not gonna dump a sheet, you know? So uh, wait me, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back.
Okay, I already got back. As I told you, as I told you, I went only to wash my freaking hands. Nothing more, nothing more. Uh, hello, everybody who keep joining. Natalie, Natalie Panfilova Zwino, Michael Zwino, exploring with the Zwinos. By the way, check out uh, the channel, uh, the channel of Michael and Natalie Zwino. Uh, the channel called Exploring with the Zwinos, easy to find. The guys are making vlogs, mostly from Seattle, Washington. Uh, that's the motherland, or I don't know if motherland actually, but the place where lives Kurt Cobain. By the way, do you know that recently, recently, the house where uh, Kurt Cobain lives and died was sold for 7.5 million dollars just recently just like these days okay yeah so uh jay lewis uh pleasantly gave us the link so check this dudes out Yeah, they are making vlogs. Maybe one day they will start making uh, the live streams. Okay, waiting for red shakshuka uh, and latte. Also for banana casserole. Banana casserole. I'm waiting. I'm really waiting for this. Sergey, do so avocados grow in Russia? Never saw. Here, people mostly prefer cucumbers. Sergey, where is Russian girls? They are everywhere. They are everywhere in Russia. Dear Klein Mouse, good morning everybody. But we of live, thank you for this amazing stream. Um, you're welcome. Sergey, where is Putin? Putin. Several days ago, he was in Russia. Several days ago, he was in Ufa, but when he was in Ufa, I was in St. Petersburg because, you know, somebody had to replace him in St. Petersburg. Exploring with the Zwinos, PayPal, woo -hoo. happy to have you back after a day. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. Yes, the guys from Seattle, check their uh, vlogs. And, um, you know, just recently, just recently, the house of uh, Kurt Cobain was sold for 7.5 million dollars the house that was built yet in 1902 but Cobain purchased it in 1994 just like some time before his death Terry Mitchell I subscribe to their channel okay thank you yes subscribe because let's make our community bigger we need to make our community bigger. Have you ever seen Putin in real life? Yes, I saw Putin back in 2015. And I have vlog about it in 2015 here in Ufa. was the summit of BRICS and SEO. BRICS, that's the union of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. And SEO, it's a Shanghai Cooperation Organization. I was the only blogger who was invited for that event. I mean, all the rest were like official journalists, and I was uh, uh, 
the only blogger who was invited there, officially invited there, because they all knew that I am uh, the blogger who made maximum of uh, stuff in English language about Ufa. Yes, and still nothing can beat that. Now I am. Uh, uh, now I am uh, making the road trips, and uh, I think that I'm already or about to become the YouTuber uh, who covers the most of uh, different towns in Russia in English language, because only for the last year I've made it to already like almost 60 cities and towns. <laughs> when you go back to St. Petersburg, dudes, I don't know, soon, soon. You, you need to take a rest from St. Petersburg, okay? I was streaming big time in St. Petersburg last week. There was like seven, eight, nine hours streams in St. Petersburg last week. Swelling Sausage 2015. Yes, you can search for my vlog. It's called uh, Summit Bricks. Putin, Real Russia. You will find it easily. And uh, I was on a pr press conference uh, Putin's press conference uh, by the results of uh, the summit of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Why you often go to Ufa? Because this is my motherland, hometown, where I was born and raised. So here is still my parents and uh, still all of my relatives. He's from Ufa. Yes, I'm from Ufa. Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, one of the biggest cities in Russia, with a population of 1.2 million residents. You live in St. Petersburg? Yeah. Yes, I moved to St. Petersburg in 2018, okay. Mary Willard, good to see you tonight. Hi, Mary Willard. Hi, Mary. Glad to see you too. Glad to see you all. Now it seems like, uh, based by on the time, most mostly curious people from North America and that part let's say Neil McDonald's told me that well seven o'clock in Ufa gonna be 4 a.m. in um, Scotland so it's like no way no way Jose I mean no way he's gonna watch and Ufa is a cool town as well as St. Petersburg. Ufa is a cool, yes, cool. I mean, like they are different, having different flavors, but both are great. What is great about Russia is that uh, like so many towns here in the so many regions and uh, they have so many different flavors and uh, the histories about how they were founded. Hey, what do I need to search to find your thing with Putin again? Okay, Summit Bricks, B-R-I-C-S, Bricks, uh, Summit Bricks, Ufa, Russia, Putin, Real Russia, okay? So that's how you will find exactly my video, Summit Bricks, uh, Summit Bricks, uh, Putin, Real Russia, Ufa. Uh, search for these words and you will find my stream back in 2015. Jim Stiegel, 10.58 p.m. North Carolina. 58? I guess 53, okay. By the way, recently Putin signs... Uh, um, the awards for all the participants of Summer Olympic Games, which is, which is, unfor uh, which is unfortunately, in terms of Russia, turns to be nothing but cringe. 
but okay. Did you shake Putin's hand? No, I'm not. I tried to ask him a question, but uh, he responded like only three or four questions from the journalist. I've got latte. I'm waiting for shakshuka and uh, banana casserole. Breakfast, oh my god, sounds so good. The kumba. I'm waiting for shakshuka. I ate shakshuka in St. Petersburg when I went for a breakfast uh, at, at Saviv. Saviv Israeli Bistro. It's located on Balshaya Kanyushana, Grand Horse Table Street. When I will go from Ufa to St. Petersburg, I will drive. I will drive all the way to St. Petersburg and uh, I hope to make a little bit of uh, uh, the road trip, another fragment of road trip. Because, yeah, I mean, I want to do that and uh, also it's just not gonna be easy and makes no sense no need uh, driving uh, driving 2000 kilometers straight away with like no non stop <laughs> the left center too they will build that skyscraper i don't know now it's only a project спасибо <laughs> Okay. Look, we've got shakshuka. Let me show you. This is two eggs. Red shakshuka. With bell pepper. Onion. And herbs in tomato sauce <laughs> the red stuff is tomato sauce okay i'm gonna eat you hear me you hear me which is Russian for Bon Appetit. Yeah, I'm 
So uh, the first dish of today's breakfast is great. It seems like I'm beginning to love shakshuka. I mean, like really love, really to love. Pepper is good. I can feel the bell pepper. Because of tomato sauce, it's so juicy. your breakfast with nice from New York animals comforts it's a mix with the original shakshuka it's maybe Jewish because you definitely can find shakshuka in every Jewish place so far Thank you. 
Дримкар. Ну и что теперь? Людям нравится. Работа над ним. Зачем? Мне плевать. Окей. And now this is a time for banana casserole. Banana casserole with cottage cheese and caramel sauce. This is a nice shit. Bon appétit. It's good. Here's actually nothing. Here's actually nothing people normally do not love. Cottage cheese, caramel sauce, banana casserole. Шакшука is шакшука, but this is already more like a dessert. It's more like some kind of cake. But Mesger looks very sweet. By the way, yes, yes, it's pretty sweet. It's sweet because of caramel sauce. Looks like banana breads with cheesecake. This is banana casserole. Uh, caramel sauce and uh, cottage cheese
Okay, that's nice to see you're asking what it is. After, I already like three times told you, this is banana casserole with caramel sauce and a cottage cheesecake. I love it. So it's now actually turned to be like um, like really breakfast and dessert. Because yeah, like shakshuka, it's a shakshuka. Yeah. It's really like a breakfast dish, okay? Um, but this banana casserole, it was more like dessert. So, um, it's time to uh, ask for check. It's time to check out. It was a nice breakfast. Well, I can give this place a really high uh, point because look, first of all, the location, the location you saw, the great, is the historical city center. The time when they start, it's incredible. I can tell you that in Ufa, probably in Ufa, one, one of the uh, earliest breakfast places I mean like the earliest place where you can order breakfast of course like except McDonald's uh, Burger Kings but I mean like around normal coffees restaurants it's I guess uh, one of really not many places in the city that starts at 7:30. so it's a pretty good time uh, no questions um, interior is good, the food is good, and coffee, well, you know, so that coffee from Kumpan is always great, probably the greatest in town. Sunshine Girl, thank you, thank you for a super sticker. Well, uh, Music, music, well, music is okay. I hear that uh, they say Kumpan radio, so they are like making their own uh, selection, selection of music. They even have the jingle, like Kumpan radio. Okay, so they worked on music. Uh, А у вас есть? Нет, монет. А сейчас не у тебя есть там А. А куда можно отправить? А, все понял. Все понял. Спасибо. Это можно взять, да? Это не желательно. Просто я смогу только это. После того, как закончу стрим. Вы можете забрать, да? Да. Спасибо. Окей. Или можете на чеке записать. На чеке можете. Вот. После стрима. Спасибо. Лук. 
the only thing, the only thing I can say that maybe, maybe not too, not too much of the variety in the menu, but, but here we have to remember that this is a coffee shop. It's more like a coffee shop, you know, coffee and to be exact, coffee and wine bar. Okay. Um, so I guess it's okay. It's okay. So and here is the check. Here is the check. We can see um, how much was this breakfast and coffee. The total amount of money is seven twenty rubles, which is almost almost ten bucks, like maybe nine seventy or something. Okay, look, shakshuka was two ninety. Banana casserole was 190 and latte was 240. So in total it's a little bit less than 10 bucks. Also I'm gonna leave 20% tip. Yeah, this is my rule. I always leave 20% tip when I making the live streams. Because I consider um, during the live streams I consider the place and the uh, like waiters as uh, a participants okay Let me tell you that uh, they have breakfast until 12 and then after 12 uh, they also they make uh, pizza and many many more dishes. Okay, so this was Kumpan Kumpan Cafe. One of the earliest places to eat breakfast in Ufa. Of course, I've talked about just the normal coffees, uh, not McDonald's. Yeah, like McDonald's, working all night long, Burger King, KFC. How was your breakfast? The breakfast was good. As I said, there is nothing to complain. Um, amazing location in the historic city center of Ufa. A great time when they open up at 7.30, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, good interior, not bad music. Well, at least they are working on it because I've heard, I've heard uh, there was a jingle, Kumpan Radio. So uh, they are working on a playlist and that playlist is at least not awful. It's not just uh, some kind of pop or something. Natalia Panfilova Zwino, thank you for the tip, Sergey. You're welcome. And uh, thank you too. Thank you for um, super chat. As I said, maybe, maybe the menu is not that big, but that's the menu for breakfast and uh that's the the coffee shop it's not even like a coffee it's a coffee shop so it's 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 good it's good and the foods the main thing the foods the food was tasty shakshuka was tasty and banana casserole was tasty as well Bashkiria Hotel, four stars hotel in Ufa, which is located inside of such a 1930s constructivist building. Six years ago, for summit of BRICS and SEO 2015, here was the global renovation. 
Now this is a really nice hotel. Nice place to stay if one day you will decide to visit Ufa. By the way, meanwhile here it's already 8.20. 820 the morning 12th of August nice shiny day a 1981 VT cheap skates always say everything is cheap without donating or contributing what's up Sergey everything is good 1981 VT thank you dudes I just had a nice breakfast I don't know if you just joined it seems like you just joined because uh, otherwise you would know that everything is okay. You wouldn't ask what's up because you would know that I'm feeling good after a nice, after a nice breakfast. Shakshuka, red shakshuka and banana casserole with caramel sauce. <laughs> yeah, boy. Say yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Exploring with its windows. Looks like I missed some tasty breakfast. Yes, but it's not, a, it's not a big deal because you can always rewind. You can always rewind back. You know what is this? I told you before. This is uh, KGB in the Republic of Bashkortostan. KGB, which is now called, I mean, like renate to FSB, Federal Security Service. The breakfast was a bargain. Yes, yes. 720 rubles, less than 10 bucks for a really nice breakfast. That's the deal. Well, look at that. Already for several years, this residential building was staying with no action because the developer bankrupted. And now I see the builders there. Whoa. Yeah, maybe they finally found the financing. Because look, this is the very center. The very center of the city. I'm not even sure how come they are bankrupted constructing the uh, residential building in the very center of the city. Look, it's right next to Gassino Dvor, State Concert Hall, Bashkortostan, Motherland Movie Theater, Art Quadrons. Damn it. How it is even possible? So um, definitely here they will do something with this because I mean like uncompleted building in the historical city center of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, in the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, that's not going to be, that's not going to last for long. The Motherland Movie Theater. 
the posters. Well, as you can see, all the same movies in the same time goes in Russia, same as it goes in the United States and Europe. I'm now going to my car. Yes, I, I, I still keep that car from Avis. Let's walk through Art Quadrons. It's not as it's not that lively here as in the evenings. But still. Nice painting. Well, it's not painting. That's mosaics. But yes, nice artwork anyway. Art Quadrat. <clears throat> the street piano. DSCH, DSCH forever. Yeah, what a contrast with an evening. In the evening, it's like the most popular place for the youth to hang out and now nobody nobody I wish when I was uh, a teenager or in my 20s, here wasn't, 
here wasn't art quadrant. I think that now the youth of Ufa really having a great time here in art quadrant. Sergey on his said notes, we just learned about the UFO train disaster. Do you have any memories from it? Um, I actually don't really have the uh, memories about it because first, it was uh, back in 1988 when I was only four years old. The second thing that uh, I'm not sure why it is called UFO train disaster because it was relatively really far from UFO. And uh, uh, I told about it when I went, when I was making the road trip to Asha, the town of Asha. It was not far from Asha, but Asha, it's like a small town. Uh, but the closest big town is Ufa, is Ufa. So that's why, that's why um, in, um, in the history, Okay, so Ufa is the closest town, big town. That's why it got known as Ufa train disaster. But it's really far from Ufa, relatively far. It's on a point between Asha and Ulutilak. Ulutilak, the place, little place called Ulutilak. Um, I was I was telling about it when about a month ago I was in Asha, the town of Asha, in the southern Urals. art objects which is dedicated to people's freedoms one of the branches of uh, Ofa State Aviation and uh, Technological University here they prefer the aviation specialists. <clears throat> and there's the main branch, the oldest one. Here we are going along Gastine Dvor, Gastine Dvor of Ufa, Easy Breezy, Karaoke and Hookah Club. Killfish, Killfish Discount Bar. That's the bar for like teenagers. <clears throat> 
Hands up bar. I think this is a franchise. There's uh, same bar in St. Petersburg on Dumske, Dumske Street. Or to be exact, the corner of Lobanosov Street and uh, the embankment of Gribaylov Canal. Something with the connection. I just got disconnected, but I, I've made the reconnect. Irish pub. This is where, if you remember, sometimes I'm drinking Guinness. It's hard as pub. The branch Hanover. They have one in St. Petersburg. Another hotel. It is called Nestrov Plaza. It was also built in 2015, special for the guests of the summit of BRICS and SEO. Here is a nice restaurant, which is called Terrasse Terrace. The residential building. This is a backside of Bashkir State's Opera and Ballet Theater. The House of Actor. And here is the building of the Supreme Court the Supreme Court of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia.
the Supreme Court is not, I mean, these two buildings, but this one and that one. John Boyer, coffee and meal on me, Sergey. Thank you, John. This is really very nice of you. Hello to Canada from Russia. the corner of Karl Marx and Pushkin, Pushkin Street. There is Mustork, one of the stores of the chain of the biggest stores, music stores, I mean like music instruments. Mm-hmm. Mustork, it's like Muse Trade. Mustork. As I said, this is a constitutional court of the Republic of Bashkirtostan of Russia. And this is the car of SSSP. That's the Federal Service of Bailiffs. Freaking Bailiffs. Nobody loves Bailiffs, right? As in jail bailiffs, no, it's actually, uh, uh, for example, for example, you owe the money, you owe the money, and you never give it back. So uh, the person or organization, you owe the money, go to the courts. The court saying, yes, yes, he owes you the money and he must to get it back to you. But once he is not making this on his own, so the bailiffs will take an action. And then the bailiffs, the bailiffs first, uh, they can get an access to all your bank accounts, to all your finances, and just to take it off from your bank accounts. Or if you have nothing on your bank accounts, like physically coming to your apartment and uh, taking off something from your apartment. <clears throat> That's the bailiffs. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe uh, you say this wrong, but when I try to translate via Google Translator, Google Translate, the word pristav, it is translated to me as bailiff. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
good. Bailiffs are good then. So that's why nobody loves bailiffs. I mean, if the bailiffs came, they came to take something off you. Okay, this is a Karl Marx Street house number three. That's where, if you remember, in the winter time, I was taking you to the place, which is like the restaurants of Bashkir cuisine. And there I ate steak made of horse meat. Here is the stadium, which is called Dinamo, and uh, not only the stadium here, but also like the sports complex, including the swimming pool and different sections. And there's the national, the Bashkir National Drama Theater. Okay, and this is where I parked the car. Yes, still, I still keep this car from Avis. I actually rented it for three months. Here it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Sergey Baklikov. I hope you enjoy it. Another live stream. This was breakfast at Kumpan Coffee in Ofa, Russia. See you, dudes. Thank you for watching. See you later. This is Baklakov Live. IRL in real life live streams. The live streams on the widest variety of topics. In the end, traditional panorama. Jay Lewis, thank you, friends. Rishab said here. Hello to India, William Kennedy, Green Man, Luis Carlos Rocha, Enters Away, Michael Milkevich, John Bogdanov. Thank you for watching, dudes. <clears throat> you see, it's much more lively now as it was at 7 o'clock when I started. Now it's almost 9.
Get down to ours. Marta Sevi. John Bauer. Okay, dudes, from Ufa, from the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, from Russia, from Baklakov life, with love. 